Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? Testing? One, two, three? Yeah? Yeah? Cool. Oh, all right. So, we are here to play... You guys already know what we're going to play. I'm not even going to say it. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're all having a wonderful Friday evening. Hello, everyone. I see you all in the chat. Pika, Tuki, Wyatt, Nicole, Evie, Mika, Senpai! Even Senpai's here! How's it going, Senpai? Oh my gosh, it's been so long. It's been so long. Byant Phil. Phil is here as well. Welcome, everyone, to our Splatoon 2 live stream. Today, we are going to be digging into some of that version 4.2. Oh, is that was that a good point? 4.0 <laughs> version 4.0 update uh, just dropped uh, late last night, I think, right after the uh, <laughs> right after the Nintendo Direct aired. And unbeknownst to me, that was like lie while we were playing Fortnite, our meme stream from yesterday. So <laughs> we're gonna be digging into that today, naturally. But before we get started and before we do anything else. I gotta give a huge thanks to our friends over at Nintendo of America for sending us this copy of the game. Huge thanks to Nintendo of America. Uh, we love them. They are super duper awesome. Yes, they sent me this game for review, gameplay, and streaming purposes. And as I, I, I said this like a couple of times already, but Splatoon 2 is the most recent video review that I've done for a game on this channel. And if you're curious about my thoughts on the game, in any capacity, feel free to check it out. It's somewhere on the channel. I think there's a reviews playlist down in the description below if you want to watch that. But um, obviously that was about a year ago. So lots of stuff has been added since I uh, initially posted that review. So it might be a little bit outdated. But I'm still proud of it. I'm still proud of it regardless. But anyways, let me get caught up on chat before I actually dive into the game. So I uh, can't wait for October for Soda Can. Is that like a thing that's coming later in 4.1? Uh, they added Kensa weapons, and they changed Starfish's main stage a bit. Yes, they did, and we're going to get into that here in just a second. Hello, Isabel, best girl in Smash. Oh, my God. Isabel, so precious. I'm going to feel so bad pummeling her with all the other characters I'm going to be playing as. Sony of America. Nintendo. -ent. Nintendo. -ent. I don't know how you would say that. I don't know how you would translate that. <laughs> I tried to tell you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I totally thought that you meant that just like the news was dropping. And I like I was thinking to myself like, well, yeah, we're watching it on the direct. Duh. And then I woke up this morning and I was like, it dropped yesterday? Excuse me? So. <laughs> uh, don't yell at me, Nightbot. Nightbot is always just dropping in randomly, isn't he? Guys, early October, if you read Squid Research Lab, which I did, they're releasing a mode called Rocket. New stage, new sub, and new weapons. Yeah, 4.1 is going to be, like, the big, big update in, like, some of the other updates coming later in October, but um, I'm super excited. Um, he needs to review another game so we can get to use his pen, the yellow pen. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if I would ever use that for, like, a review, but any, any sort of excuse that I can uh, bring out my yellow pen for, I am down with. I am down with that. All right. So... Let's go ahead and jump into some Splatoon 2. Here we go. So, version 4.0, right, is the next big uh, content update coming to Splatoon 2. And the one that dropped last night um, includes the Kensa Weapon Collection. or No, it's the Kensa Collection number one. So there's going to be multiple different collections for this, like, line. So Kensa Collection number one includes a bunch of new weapons that are all really nicely stylized, I think. Though I like the black and white aesthetic of them. I don't know if this actually includes clothing, but I guess we'll see. It also includes a redesign of the Starfish main stage map, uh, which we'll also take a good look at once my game decides to load! <laughs> Eevee, come on Splatoon, cause I saw you on. Are you guys on? Are you guys playing? I'm so ready. So ready to hop into some matches. I want to see the Kensa collection first, though. All right, let's take a look and see what Pearl and Marina have to say. Y'all know what time it is? There's a new update. A new weapon has been added. The Kensa Splatter Shot, the Kensa Splat Roller, the Kensa Charger, and the Kensa Splatter Scope. Oh my God! I'm never ready for that. Thank you, Nicole, for that lovely donation. I appreciate you. 
<laughs> Bam, there's a 1080 in your future also spoops that. Thank you. I appreciate that. One day we'll get our hands on that 1080. <laughs> One day. Oh my god. <laughs> and the Kensa Splat Duelies to continue, like, to finish my thought. <laughs> okay. Um, oh man, that means we have to listen to Sheldon nerd out again. I mean, I like him and all, but slow down, crab man. Oh man. Marina is, uh, <laughs> definitely a savage, you guys. <laughs> Love watching me get scared. <laughs> thank you, Nicole, I appreciate you. I've already said that, but <laughs> thank you again. Oh, alright, check it. Here are the current regular battle stages. Who's been drawing those doodle things on the walls here? Doodle things? It's called graffiti, aren't you a rapper? Well, current ranked battle stages, I don't know what we're gonna play. Are we gonna be playing ranked battle or like league battles? How many people like, do people wanna join in on some games here and play with me? If so, what do we wanna play? Cause league battle has the new map in it. So if we do league battle and there's four of us, we could all hop into some Starfish main stage and see what that's all about now. Oh no. <laughs> all right. I can't believe our last gig went so smoothly, Marina. Yeah, especially because we worked a salmon run shift instead of rehearsing. And that's all the time we- <laughs> And that's all the time I've got. I've got to get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> that's hilarious that she says that. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> God! <laughs> oh. Nicole, thank you. I appreciate that. Another donation. Thank you so much. <laughs> More spoops, Chad insisted. I tried to brace myself for that one, if I'm being honest, because I saw it come up in the chat before it actually showed up on stream and played the sound effects. <laughs> but YouTube, for whatever reason, plays the sound effect and the notification on stream at like a completely random time after the donation actually goes through. So I was like prepping myself for a couple of seconds. And then I was like, oh, I guess it's just not going to go through. And then it came through like 20 seconds after the fact. Thank you, Nicole. I appreciate it. I wish... I, I need to do something for you. <laughs> I need to do... Just to return the... Just to show my gratitude as well. Oh, man. Ooh! Should we buy some black and white clothing to match our new Kensa weapons? I feel like we should. Anyways. I'm gonna buy these all of these weapons, honestly. The Kensa Splattershot for a limited edition is a limited edition custom Splattershot created in collaboration with Tony Kensa. It has the same specs as the standard model, but its suction bomb and Tenta missiles special bring the heat from a distance. With this set, using the sub and special weapons effectively is crucial to getting the most out of the Splattershot main. And that's the only one I'm gonna read that quickly. Or like, that's the only one I'm gonna read, because that's a lot of text. Alec, why are you wearing the noob shirt? Oh, well, it's because it gives you that shirt whenever the Splatfest is over. Like, after, like, when you wear a Splatfest shirt and then the Splatfest ends, it automatically equips this one for you. So I'm not wearing it by choice, but we're gonna go change our clothes here in a second. So, let's buy all these weapons! The Kensa, Splatter Shot, the Splat Roller. Oh, I'm so excited to try these out. They all look so good! I really love the black and white aesthetic. They look really nice. All right, let's go equip our clothing now. You haven't played since Splatfest? No, I haven't. I actually haven't. Well, actually, I think I have. I don't remember. Um, but anyways, let's go hop in to the clothing options place. Equip. <laughs> I keep. I always forget where that is in the menus. I have a vested interest in seeing you stream Overwatch, so yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy, that'll be the day, won't it? All right. Pretty cool clothes here. Do we have any black and white shoes? Let's get all decked out here. I think these would match the aesthetic that they're going for. And maybe a good hat. Cool hat. Something black and white looking. Actually, you know what? I like this one. I like the backwards hat and the sunglasses. I think that's the best that we're gonna get. Unless we do like just the shades. No, that's kind of lame. Let's give ourselves a cool headshot. Or like something on our head. Ooh, I like this visor. Alright, I'm torn between the visor and the cap and glasses. We'll just do this one for now. Look at us! 
Look at us. It's a shame you can't really customize your pants. Otherwise, I'd have some cool black and white pants. <laughs> Miss me? Welcome to the stream, Pasta. Pasta. Pasta Terra. Welcome, welcome. I bet the Switch is dead. I bet before the Switch is dead, Nintendo will make the online free again. If I'm not, I'll subscribe to Odala and betray me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, let's go ahead and hop into the lobby. Um... Let's do, I don't know, let's do League Battle. I don't think, here, let's do League Battle. Since it has Starfish main stage in it. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Thank you, Nicole, what did I do? Why are you guys trying to break me again on stream? Ah! Lights the spoops in before running off to make dinner. Thank you so much, Nicole. What are you making? I'm actually really hungry. <laughs> I'm heavily interested in what you're making for dinner. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. That scared me. That's... <laughs> um, let me see. Do the cap because of fan art and you can customize the pants. The skinny ones are black. <laughs> Cause love. I'm making chicken pot pie soup. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Had my finger on the mute button. <laughs> oh boy, I've been sleeping since I got off school. Oh boy. That must have been a while. I copied you out like I bought the whole set. Nice. Nice. But I'm subbing the chicken for pork ground. That sounds good. That sounds good. Alright. Um let's do let's do league battle. I don't know how many of you guys are actually interested in playing with me, but I'll go ahead and open the lobby and whoever wants to join. And join! There's no password for the lobby or anything, so you guys can just go ahead and pour yourselves in here. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Yeah, I got off at like three. Man, that was a long time ago. <laughs> that was like, what, five hours ago? I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I downloaded mine because of Sir Nyan's a lot. Oh, isn't that like a, like a download version only bonus or something? I know you and B-Man were talking about that. <laughs> I know. Man, that was a long nap. It's almost like some people sleep for that long. <laughs> I'm also making Cheddar Bay biscuits. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. I've been sleeping to keep from dying. Oh no! Mika, I hope you flew better soon! Man, having a cough is the worst because it... Like, for me, just because of how much I'm doing it, it, like, tends to give me a big headache when I have, like, those coughs or those colds. So, hopefully you're not going through the same thing. And if you are... Definitely get lots of rest. I know that's what definitely helped me whenever I have things similar to you. I only got four hours last night. Oh, jeez. I'll post pictures on Twitter and tag you. Oh, God. You're going to make me hungry. You know, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Why is it that every stream we start talking about food and I end up being really hungry? What is up with that? <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Um... So, this is the new Starfish main stage. You can see, it feels a lot more open. Just like my immediate impressions that it's giving me is like, it feels a lot more open. I'm not exactly sure what specific changes have been made, but it feels a lot more open. And I'm sure people who are more familiar with the map than I am would be able to tell me what the differences are, but this isn't one of my favorite maps, so I'm not like super, super clear on what it used to look like before. But this feels a lot more open. That's just, that's just what I'm just what I feel in. That's what I'm feeling immediately as soon as we queued into this map. Because <laughs> you don't you spend time playing Overwatch instead. Oh boy, Nicole, if you only knew how much food I ate, you'd be surprised. I'm a huge food food guy. I've been described as that person in every anime that just like really loves food for no reason. <laughs> so I uh, oh my okay okay. Low-key salty, someone dumped my lemonade! I just drank a, like, bottle of lemonade that my mom gave me, like, a couple days ago. It's been a long time since I've actually had, like, the Minute Maid in a bottle. So it was refreshing. It was refreshing. You know what drink is the best drink of all time, and probably for will, will forever be in my heart, is pink lemonade. Pink lemonade will always be the best, most delicious drink in the world to me. I don't think anything will ever change my mind. Well, you should come to the Streamer Coast meetup. There's going to be a professional chef there. What? What? 
Is this your is this your like cosmic way of saying that you're the professional chef? <laughs> or is there legit going <laughs> How does that even work? What? <laughs> Alright, um I should probably play the game like better. Oh no! Eevee! Right, we have Eevee on our team, which is a huge bonus for us. Oh my god, the splatling is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah, Sneaky Wolf is a legit chef. Oh my god, no way. That is awesome. Alec is small glasses boy with food. <laughs> I, for real, like, you guys, I don't think you understand how much I love food. I love food so... Oh, no way, I splatted it, but he still got it off. Oh my gosh. That's what it was, dot, dot, dot. Oh no. Terra, rip. I'd be crying. How, how how could someone waste pink lemonade like that? That is, that is honestly a tragedy. Whoever, that should be illegal, honestly. Pink lemonade should be considered sacred and not to be wasted. <laughs> He went to culinary school, and between him and Chris, there will be tons of homemade food all week. Oh my god. Oh my god. What does he make? What does he make? Is it delicious kinds of food? Is it sushi? If it's sushi, I'm dead. I'm officially pronounced deceased. <laughs> I will go to town on some sushi rolls. Get this dude! How is he getting away? Oh my god! I am so bad! I am so bad! Oh man. All right, whatever. Whatever, that was one warm-up round. Warm-up round. It's okay. I made some more. You can make pink lemonade? Thinking emoji? I searched for Yokai Watch 2 Cat Court Blasters, and guess what? There was none! They were all sold out! I cried for hours. Is that, is that game actually that popular that it's selling out? I cannot remember the last time I've heard of a game, like, selling out in a store. Because I feel like we live in an age where everything is just so immediately available. Well, I guess that doesn't really have to do with, like, we live in an age, but I feel like nowadays games don't really sell out. I guess because they have the logistics to get them shipped out, like, um, like, quickly. That's the word I was looking for. I don't know why I was <laughs> having a hard time thinking of that. My sister stood there and did nothing! Banned! Banned! She is banned! Just kidding. It's okay. It's okay, Pika. Don't worry. <laughs> we still love you. Wait, the new update is out? It is! Or at least the first chunk of it. Um, version 4.0 dropped last night. It includes the Kensa collection of weapons, which pretty much our entire team is using right now. Um, and a redesign for the Starfish main stage map, which is right above my head right there. We just played on it. And, um, it feels a lot more open, is kind of what I was describing it as earlier. So, uh, yeah. But, like, all the huge updates and stuff, I think, are coming later this month. Oh! There was also an update to, like, how Splatfests work now? So... It's very confusing the way they worded it, but essentially now you have the option of playing in normal and pro um, matchmaking queues in, during Splatfests, and the pro, like, I don't, like, the difference between the two is kind of unclear to me, but um, the biggest thing that I've seen is that occasionally during the Splatfests, you'll get this, like, you'll get matches that qualify for times 10 or times 100 uh, points for your respective teams, and I think that's kind of cool. Uh, but beyond that, it's like so confusing. I'd probably just have to play through it to be able to understand it. But I love our team style. We are all dressed so fly. Man, we should get team uniforms or something. <laughs> hey, like when you don't do ranked, I'll join you. Sounds good. Sounds good. We might do private battles. We might just do some turf war. We'll see. We'll see what everyone's feeling. I'm doing league battles because I wanted to see the new map. Which strangely, Starfish main stage is only available at the moment in League Battles. I feel like they would want to promote that and get it in every single mode, but whatever. I don't sit in on those meetings. <laughs> Although I wish I did. You guys, if I worked for Nintendo, I would bring you guys the games that you are all asking for. Honestly. I would give you Animal Crossing Switch way earlier. I would also bring you guys Luigi's Mansion with two-player co-op, although that might be something that they're adding. We just don't know yet. Um, I would also be bringing you a lot more characters to Smash Brothers Ultimate, like Banjo-Kazooie, the Chorus Kids, a bunch more uh, Star Fox representation. Let me tell you what, things were, things would be great. <laughs> did you know that Best Buy is having an event that you can play Smash Brothers Ultimate? I did! Also, welcome to the stream, Romero. Hope you're having a good Friday evening. We're just hanging out, playing some of the new Splatoon 2 update. But yes, I did know about that. 
I checked the day that they announced it, and unfortunately, none of the Best Buy locations are even remotely close to where I am. So, rip me. But, at the very least, I've gotten to try it, so I'll just have to hold on to my hype all the way until December, unless they release a demo. Unless they release an online demo of some sort, which Nintendo, please, I would love that. You ever just wake up and want to play Smash Brothers Ultimate? That's like me every day. <laughs> I'm so excited for that game. This dude! What? What? Where do you even live? I live in uh, Texas, like Central Texas. The closest place to me is Dallas, but Dallas is like a four hour drive for me, so. As much as I love Smash Brothers and want to play Ultimate, I do not want to drive four hours just to wait in a line to wait longer to play Smash Brothers Ultimate, because if it's anything like the Smash 4 event at the Best Buy is like from years ago, then it's probably going to be really crowded and you're most likely going to have to wait a couple hours to play anyway. Then again, I live in a pretty popular location for that kind of stuff, so maybe that has something to do with it. The color combo makes me think of Barney, who's elderly enough to remember him. Lol, Barney's not a thing anymore? I thought Barney was like still going on. Or is that Sesame Street? Or, am, or are they both like not a thing and I'm just crazy? <laughs> I remember Barney, those, he haunted my nightmares for so long. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one in the world who thinks he's creepy looking. It might just be me. Oh my goodness, Eevee! Ah! I like the Dallas Cowboys. I'm not a big uh, sports fan, but they are pretty popular where I live, so. I don't want to be in a crowded social situation. It can get pretty annoying having that many people in one, one little area. Even if it's somewhere like a Best Buy, because Best Buys look big and all, but like if you're, if we really look at it from a third person perspective, Best Buy is not the kind of place to hold an event like that, because it is so gosh darn small. It gets crowded so quickly. I think it gives off that illusion, because at least in my, at least in my area, Best Buy doesn't really have a lot of like foot traffic going in their doors day to day. So to have that many people come for like one day is crazy. It's crazy. Okay, that's it. I must go stick. You, you're pl <gasps> Eevee's going stick? Dual stick controls? He's switching off of the motion controls? No way. I'd have to see that to believe it. Mm-mm-mm. Alright. Oh, did you mean stick like the, like the charger? Like the bamboo stick? That would make more sense. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to the splatter shot. No, I mean the bamboozler. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Didn't Barney say a bad word via live television? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't watch Barney when I was uh, growing up. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to remove my headphones right quick. What did I miss? I'm talking about how I think Barney is kind of creepy. <gasps> I don't think any place has a Smash Ultimate demo that has a Smash Ultimate demo is safe. <laughs> right? I'd much rather just play the demo online if they put it on like the eShop or something. That would be my ideal thing. As much as I love going in like to places like E3 where you have a bunch of like people that love the same thing in the same place, I don't know. I if I had to choose between the two, I'd much rather just play from home. Mm -mm -mm. Got to stay hydrated, kids. All right. Splatter shot, Kenso splatter shots. Let's go. Let's see what are my what are my abilities here? Ooh, I have Tenta Missiles. I love it. I love it already. Tenta Missiles is probably my favorite special. Probably my favorite special of the bunch. Let's see how much of a punch this thing packs. Got one. Oh, they're gonna... Ah! Let's get this guy. Follow him! Oh, I still got him, though. I still got him, though. Barney, I had a bunch of VHS tapes as a kid. I loved Barney. Oh boy. Well, props to you because I is like okay, Barney's cool and all, but I don't know, just like the way that they designed him, it's like creepy. I don't know. I've never been like an animatronic um, character kind of guy. Same with Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese is another place that like kind of creeps me out. Never went there as a child either, so that might explain a thing or two. <laughs> that might explain why I don't like them and why I never really would. It's because I didn't... I thought they were creepy. And also their pizza just wasn't very good. I would put them like somewhere towards the bottom of my pizza tier list that we were talking about the other day. <laughs> Not too long ago were we talking about pizza and yet again we're bringing it up. 
Oh my gosh. Whatever, just throw them out. Ah! What the? Oh, how did you come up behind me? That's crazy talk. He's not animatronic though, he's a dude in a suit. Well, he, he's kind of like designed similarly to like all the other animatronic, um, like animals, characters. Like, he, basically what I mean by that is he looks like he belongs in like a Five Nights at Freddy's game. <laughs> Just like rip off of his like mask a little bit to expose some wiring and you got a Five Nights at Freddy's character right there. Chuck E. Cheese was creepy, okay? At least we can agree on that. At least we can agree on that. I literally watched Dora 24-7. Dora was my thing. Dora was my sister's thing growing up too, so I, by, by extension, was also watching a lot of Dora when I was younger. I was not young enough to watch it at the time, but since my sister watched it so much, um, I know a thing or two about Dora the Explorer as well. And Diego, her cousin, right? Because, like, he got this Diego show. I keep getting, like, stupidly killed. <laughs> oh, boy. But Blue's Clues was my jam when I was little. That was my show, Blue's Clues. Oh, my goodness. That bubbler is crazy. Since they redesigned, since they redesigned Chuck E. Cheese, I made him a, and made him a small mouse. He's really cute. I saw that. That was like a couple years ago, right? He looks a lot more modern, to say the least. I think he looks a lot better than he used to. The other design was just like really, I don't know, just dated. I guess is the right word for that. I don't know. Who am I to critique a Chuck E. Cheese design? Like, what, what gives me the authority to do that? But. I think he looks better now. A lot less creepy. Maybe that's why they redesigned him. Because <laughs> he was creepy. Oh man, I love Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues was great. It made me so sad when Steve went off to college. Or, th th that was their like thing, right? Is that he went off to college? I know, like he left, but I don't remember. I think, I want to say he was off to college. I'm back in bed, sorry if I pass out. Sounds good, Tara. Sounds good. Understandable. Wait, but you just, if you pass out, you just had a five hour nap! What is this? What is this business? <laughs> I mean, the more sleep the better, but I thought you just woke up from a nap. You're already going back to bed? Yep, that was the show of reason for him leaving. Okay, that makes sense. It's weird because now I look back on that moment and I'm like, Steve looks a lot older than college age. I don't know. I'm really not notoriously bad at placing someone's age based off of like just looking at them, but Steve to me looks like he would be older than college age, at least at that time. Leave me alone, I might be. Why is everyone sick? Oh my gosh, get better. Everyone, hope you get better soon. Why are we only going against Japanese people? I don't know. I don't know, I mean, it's only 8.30, so everyone else in America should be awake. What the heck is this? <laughs> Oh boy, I don't get sleepy too often, me neither. I don't really get sleepy unless I'm full on exhausted, which doesn't happen too much. Um, I usually don't go to bed until my body just physically cannot stay awake anymore, which is probably not very, uh, not the best way to go about it, but <gasps> you know, you know, <laughs> that's just the way it goes for me. Oh boy. Private, we'll do private battle in a couple more matches. I wanna get <laughs> I wanna get some warm up rounds in before I go against you guys and lose. <laughs> oh boy. I just at what goulash? I just ate goulash. Ah. Okay. What is goulash? What is that? That sounds familiar. You promised private I will! I will! <laughs> oh boy, I keep coughing. Oh dear me. Oh dear you indeed. <laughs> oh, I hate whenever you like get that sort of sick where you're not full on sick, but you like have the symptoms of being sick. You know what I mean? Like for me, that looks like um, a slightly runny nose and some coughing thrown in there for good measure. That's what that looks like for me. And I'm, I don't feel full on sick. I just like feel slightly sick and that's the worst. I think that's the worst. My favorite food! How is your favorite food not sushi? 
That is that is the real mystery here. I have a stuffy nose too. Oh jeez. Everyone is sick! How what is this? <laughs> Dude, I keep coughing. Oh boy. Well hopefully you guys don't spread it. I'm just kidding. I'm probably gonna get sick too then. It seems like the season because it's raining so much, I guess, over like across the US. So maybe that's bringing in allergies for a lot of people. I'm no doctor, but that seems like a logical explanation. If I do say so myself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm getting shot. Why is it always me? That's my question. Why is it always me? Gabby, what did I do to hurt you like this? I like I've been sick since the weekend started. Oh boy. Drink lots of or eat lots of soup. Drink lots of liquids. Get lots of rest. That's uh that's what people tell me when I'm sick, so I'm I'm imagining it works. <laughs> no way! No way! Why okay, is the splatling like a really good weapon or something? Cause I feel like a lot of people have been using it out of the players that we've gone against tonight. <laughs> I feel like I've seen that weapon a lot. Oh jeez, he's gonna score, isn't he? Oh! <gasps> we stopped him dead in his tracks! Alright, I see a dude down here. Some peeps. Some enemies! Where they- where did they go? What? We lost it already? We're in our spawn! Rainmaker reset. Alright. Alright, you got- how is that hitting me from so far? The splatling is crazy. Nickelodeon colors. <laughs> I love this. I don't care where my pro controller is. Ree! Ree! Yo, are you guys excited about the Smash Brothers Ultimate Pro Controller and Joy-Cons? The Joy-Cons literally just have like a white stripe across them. I feel like they could have done so much more with that. <laughs> And I can tell that I'm not the only one that feels that way because Twitter is just going to go into town with those Just memeing on them like crazy Although I have to say that the Pikachu and Eevee the let's go Pikachu and Eevee bundle looks really really good I love the colors on that one and it, it really matches the look of Pikachu and Eevee quite well but For Smash Brothers Ultimate. I mean you have so many so many different like ways you could have gone with it and ugh. Does the update take a while to download? I'm not sure. Mine downloaded it in the background, so whenever I logged in, it was just already downloaded. So maybe the same for you. I know I have that feature turned on on my Switch, so I don't have to wait in an eternity for big updates like this. Oh, come on! Come on! That's a yes. Rip me play. <laughs> the Joy-Cons are so bland. They are! They are. They could have at least put the same design that they put on the dock, like that has all the characters and stuff on it in like black and white. Or even just done like a different color of Joy-Cons, I mean, because my goodness, the gray ones? Like, I already have those. Why would I want to shell out another, what is it, $80 for Joy-Cons when I already have the same color and the design that they picked for the Smash Brothers Ultimate ones is not that great to begin with? Craziness. Craziness. See, if I worked at Nintendo, I would put the design that they put on the dock on those Joy-Cons. That would be so fly. That would be so cool. Oh my goodness, I keep dying. I'm bad. I need to just stop. <sighs> oh, it's saying 39 minutes. Okay, so that's not that bad. The dock is all right. I would have liked the screening in... I would have liked the screening in color, though. I would have... Yeah. I guess... I get why they did it. I guess just to make it more simplistic. But they did something relatively similar on the Pikachu and Eevee do the console. Like, they have the line art and stuff and everything, but they're still colored. There's still some color to them. So I think they could have done the same thing with the Smash Brothers Ultimate characters if they went that route. And that's part of the reason why the Eevee and Pikachu console looks so good, is because it matches, like, the color scheme of the two characters. But that's just me. That is just me. What do I really know, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know what? You guys can have it. I'm just gonna come over here. Disrupt. Disrupt! Ah, what the? He's covered in my ink! He was like one hit! Oh my gosh. It takes me two minutes to do an update. Oh my gosh. Your internet is godlike then. I know when I move uh, to the new house, I definitely want to upgrade our internet to like gigabit. 
so I don't have to deal with like the stream randomly crashing and blah blah blah, all that other stuff that comes along with uh, slower internet. I'm so excited to hopefully get rid of all those issues. <laughs> Oh man, that'll be the day. Found my pro controller too, yee! Oh yee! Hype. Hype? Yeah, I was kind of expecting like a loss there. Oh my gosh! I'm so rusty! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some private battles, and I don't know how long we'll do them, because I kind of like playing against other random people with you guys, but we'll, we're gonna switch over to some, <laughs> some private battles here in a second. All right. Let me form us a lobby, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. That chair is- <laughs> Oh my god! Why does it always happen whenever I'm, like, not paying attention to- Oh! <laughs> Random spoops. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. Internet hug. I appreciate you so much. Can we get, like, I don't know. Spam hearts in the chat for Nicole because she's so awesome. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I wish there was like a proper emoji for that, but I feel like the heart one is would, would suffice. Spam hearts in the chat. We love you, Nicole. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and <laughs> let's go ahead and make us a room. Private match. Private match. Here we go, guys. Hope you're all ready. We're gonna, I guess we'll just do Turf War, since that's like basic enough. <laughs> Hearts for Nicole, yay! Yay! Stage select, okay, we're gonna do nothing but Starfish main stage. Or at least we'll do like two, oh, here, here we'll, here's what we'll do. Two rounds of Starfish main stage, just so I can get used to the layout and show it off, because that's what the whole stream is about for the night. And then after that, we'll just do random. Starfish main stage, there we go. Alright, uh, Turf War, correct. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. 3v3. Perfect. I am okay with this. I am okay with this. Dang it! No! <laughs> we were even! We were even! Okay, this is still fine. This is still fine. We can work with this. Let's just put Eevee on one... Okay, I'm gonna have to manually do this, because these... We're gonna have to have Eevee, Pika. Uh, we'll also put... Pichu, and three, oh wait, no, actually, here's what we'll do. We'll do Eevee, Phil, and Pichu, and then the rest of us on the other team. Is that okay? Does that sound fair? Because, <laughs> like, Eevee and Phil on one team is already a deadly combo, but I think this is fair for now, considering that we don't have even teams, but we'll see. We'll see how it works out. If not, we'll just do a spectator next round. But I think this is good. <laughs> I think this is good. Two gods on one side of the team. I'm in, ladies and gents. Nice. Eevee, let's go! <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. I should switch to the, uh, to the Kensa Splat Roller next round. I think that's what I'll do. I think that's what I'll do. I'll spectate next round. Pika! You are amazing and wonderful for always volunteering to go spectator. You are awesome. I will definitely remember that. Yeet! Yeet! Evie, we are waiting for you to ready up. <laughs> oh man, I'll be joining soon. I'm at 50%. Sounds good. Sounds good, Tara. You'll make us an even eight. I'm going in with Kensa Octogun. Get ready! Oh jeez. Let's get let's go, Evie. Hey! Eevee's not on my team! Mika's cheering against me! The chat has revolted. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was thinking of a weapon. It's okay, Eevee. I just like to give you a hard time. Alright! Here we go! On Starfish main stage, I'm rocking my Kensa splatter shots. I'm honestly kind of scared. Eevee is actually really good at this game, for those of you that don't know. Um, Eevee is basically the grandmaster of this game, to put it in Overwatch terms. Eevee is basically a grandmaster in this game, if that makes any sense. Woo! What is this? Ah! <laughs> I really don't like this game that much, but I like to play sometimes. That's awesome. That's awesome. This is Turf War, by the way, guys, so... I don't know if I said that enough when we first started, but... We're missing so much of our base! Da-da-da-da! 
Da -da -da. Fire the Tenta missiles! Alec, you know I'm ro always rooting for you to fail. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. I know you were waiting for that to happen during the Overwatch E3 tournament that I was in, but... <laughs> I still got those huge Widow plays. So, I'll forever... I'll forever use that in my favor. <laughs> and I think you said that you're done giving me flack for playing Overwatch. Like, badly. Just from that one performance. <laughs> Bombs galore! Wee! I, I, mean, I have Tenta missiles, so... I like to be a little different. There's Eevee. There's Eevee just killing everyone. Jeez. Welcome to the stream, Super Peach Login. Hope you're having a good Friday evening. We're just hanging out playing some of the new Splatoon 2 updates. They changed a little bit of the Starfish main stage map since that's what we're playing on now. And they also added a bunch of new weapons. The Kensa collection, if you will. Uh, which is what I'm using right now. It's the Kensa Splatter Shot. And it looks really, really nice. I changed my clothes to match my weapons, all black and white. Alright, let's see if we can do some sneaking on this side, and hopefully Eevee doesn't see us. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Cause- ah! Not like this! Oh my- Okay, that was Phil. That was Phil. And you're free to ba brag about your top percentile status now. Thank you, I'm glad I have your permission. <laughs> no, there I was actually cheering you on. Okay, good. Good. I'm so used to you giving me the business that I, I guess I misremembered. <laughs> Oh boy, that was a fun, that was so fun. I don't know if you ever saw that, Nicole, but we uh, we won a tournament over when I was at E3 back in June, um, an Overwatch tournament, and it was so good, it was so fun, and I got some monster plays as Widowmaker. And I can't remember who else I played, but I felt like I did really well. And it felt good. Felt good. Made me want to, it makes me want to dive into esports even more. Oh my god, I wasn't even looking at the screen, I'm throwing! Welcome to the stream, Splatoon! Crazy bro! Hope you're having a good Friday evening, we're just hanging out playing some of the new Splatoon 2 update, version 4.0. This new map is crazy, the new weapons look amazing. All around, we're having a fun time. So, that's amazing, I didn't hear. I need to send you the highlights. It was on uh, DX Racer's official stream. DX Racer, like the chair, like the gaming chair brand, that is. I've never been in a video. Awesome, welcome! Welcome, glad to have you. Glad to have you. Welcome to the stream. Close one. It was very close. Actually, all things considered. Look at Eevee with those 2,000 points! Oh my gosh! That was crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Um, let me see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 now. So, if I remember correctly, Pika said that she is okay with being on Spectator. So, we'll throw her on Spectator. And we'll do all the other teams random, since we have a full six. All right, I'm gonna change my weapon to the splat roller. Don't look at the screen, enemy team. Don't get into my tactics. Don't, don't look, don't look. Don't start again, I'm downloaded, rip. Okay, we'll get you in the next round. This is actually not that long. They're like three minutes long, so. That should give you enough time to like get into the game, listen to Pearl and Marina, and then like maybe buy some weapons if you need. They won light up hoodies and I forget what else. We won light up hoodies. They also gave us like um, DX Racer branded cushions for like your chairs. But I already have one uh, right here at the top of my chair. But um, I have an extra fluffy pillow somewhere uh, in my room. I don't know. Where, I don't remember where I put it. But <laughs> the light up hoodies are so cool. They are so cool. I um, it's in here somewhere. I usually like to wear this. E3 hoodie that I got from E3 2016, which was my first E3, mind you. Um, but I like it because it's black and white. I'm a very simple man. Black and white is like a good color combo for me. Yeah, I like the chair I sit on, lol. <laughs> yeah, it was the it was their DX Racer stream, and it was awesome. It was super fun. I'm spectating Alec. Oh boy, don't judge me! Don't judge me! I'm just here to play the new weapons and try them out. Feel fashionable for just a little bit. Actually, I really love, like, I really love the promotional images that they're putting out for the Kensa collection. So, like, the image that you see in the thumbnail for the stream uh, is one of them, and it looks like a high fashion, like, marketing campaign. It's so, so cool looking. I love it. The Kensa collection is probably going to be my favorite collection in all of Splatoon. Once the clothes come out, though, hype. Hype. <laughs> That's going to be so nice. All right. 
Um, I'm not really like doing. Well, I guess I'm doing some things. I'm getting close to 300 points. Oh, da, 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 da. What is this? What is this bubbly thing? All right. Uh, I need to get. I feel like I'm not. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Every time I'm like in the middle of saying something! <laughs> Hold on. Let me get to somewhere safe and I can read your message. Or actually, I'll do it the next time I get splatted. I'm still so tense because I am not reading the chat. <laughs> okay. Okay, you convinced me with more coaching, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Nicole. I will definitely. Coach you as long as you'll let me. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. I really love helping people get better at the game. And uh, that's fulfillment enough for me. But you're so you're so thankful for it and so appreciative and like I just love hearing about your experiences like after I share like my feedback with you, so it's been it feels really good. It feels really good to be in that coaching position. <laughs> Best time to spoop Alec is when he's playing. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Marley Bellevue? Bellevue. Hope you're having a good Friday evening. We're just hanging out, playing some of the new Splatoon 2 updates. Uh, the Kensa collection is live, so all of the new weapons and stuff that they showed off yesterday are in the game now. I'm actually using the Kensa collection Splat... Sh splat Roller. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's really fun. They also redesigned the Starfish main stage map, which is what we're playing on now, so we're having a good time. Thanks so much for stopping by. Oh boy. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole, you broke my ears. Same. <laughs> Same. I don't know why the notifications are so loud. Alec, of course, got the light blue, the blue light up one. Yes, I, speci I specially requested that that guy give me the blue one. He, he initially handed me, like, uh, I want to say it was a red one, but I was like, uh, do you have any blue ones, mister? And he was like, yeah, let me check in the back. And then he found one for me specifically, and it was great. Um, so I need to pay you more for Overwatching since- <laughs> Overwatch coaching since you're an Overwatch god. I would never say that. Never, never. <laughs> Thank you, notification delay, for allowing me to mute when needed, RIP. <laughs> it's so scary. It's so scary. I told him I'd help him turn it down, lol. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with them being loud because you guys get to scare me, um, with subscriptions and notifications and whatnot, but... It's just funny that they're defaultly set to being so ear bleedingly loud. <laughs> Alright. Um You can't start a battle with these settings. Please adjust the teams! Okay, we need two spectators. Cause it's not gonna let us continue with Well, Pika's one. Where's Pika? There we go. Pika's definitely okay with spectating. Um Why does the game put me in this position? Um, let's do Pikachu and Eevee. There we go. To to celebrate their new games coming out later this year. We'll put them both in Spectator. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a reason enough. <laughs> oh man, you guys need to help me. I have a Splatling. Dude, no one is my rank in Blasters. Ah, nice. Nice. Congratulations, B-Man. You are now officially have no life. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, B-Man. Good to see you. Good to see ya. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, Pocket Camp for Splatoon 2. I need to go on my Pocket Camp and actually like see that. I haven't played my Pocket Camp in so long, and I saw that they're adding like Splatoon items, and I I really need to go in there and get them while they're while they're alive. <laughs> I'll spectate down next round. Sounds good, Phil. Sounds good. Alec, look at my weapon. Oh geez, what is it? What is it? I was not looking. Is it the to is it the toilet or the sink? It's the sink, isn't it? I have a feeling it's the sink. It's not! Oh my god, it's not. You have the gold dynamo roller? Is that you? I have a hard time remembering who is who whenever they're not the same name as they are on YouTube. But Aaron, I think you're the, um... I think you're the gold dynamo roller. Right? Like the gold one? I don't know. <laughs> Please let me know if that's wrong. Alright. I still got $40 for blasters and I'm waiting for a used game. Nice. Nice, those are some 200 IQ plays right there. I don't know actually how long that's going to take, but considering it's so new, 
But hopefully it's sooner rather than later. These bubbles! Get out of here, mister, whoever you are. Ooh! Ooh! I was actually not expecting you to turn that corner. Crazy. Animal Crossing launch day stream? Of course. Of course, you know it. Same thing for Luigi's Man- well, actually, maybe not Luigi's Mansion. I might save that for Halloween, like the 3DS version. But definitely, uh, Pikachu and Eevee is definitely a day one stream. Uh, obviously Super Smash Brothers, I'm probably gonna do a week-long, um, like, streaming marathon of Smash Brothers Ultimate just because I'm so excited for that game. And a bunch of other games coming out later this year. I want to do Undertale streams as well, because that's coming out in just a couple of days for the Switch. And I really love Undertale. So that makes sense to do. That sounds like a thing that I would have a lot of fun doing. I don't know if Undertale is like a watchable game, though. Would that be something that would be fun to watch? I'm not sure. I am not sure. It's a fun game, though, regardless. Ah! Ew, Undertale? Did you just ew Undertale in my chat, B-Man? Go back to Blasters. Get out of here! <laughs> Undertale is great. I love Undertale. I know, yes, it's very, very, like, hyped up. Like, I know a lot of people love it, and it's talked about quite frequently. But it's well-deserved. Uh, I think it's, if I remember correctly, the game is just made by one guy. So, props to him for making such a wonderful game. Solo. But I, I, don't, yeah, I could be wrong. But I, that's just what I remember in my brain. <laughs> okay, I will go to Blasters. RIP! Wait, you disconnected? Oh no! Oh no, that means we should still have an open spot then, if you want to rejoin us. <laughs> or you can go to Blasters, totally up to you. Time for Dragon Ball Z references, Splatoon 2! You could get like Super Saiyan hair for your inkling, that would be hilarious. <laughs> the most epic crossover in history. Oh my god, this roller does so much damage! Oh man, I feel alive! Is Eevee still on the other team? Wait, no, I put him in spectator. That's why we're not getting destroyed. That makes sense. <laughs> Life is strange too. I need to beat um, Before the Storm. I need to beat Before the Storm. Um, my sister is the one that I'm playing that with, and right now she moved off to college because she be she's in her freshman year of college. She's moved away. And um, once she comes back for like the holidays or something, I'm hoping to beat it then. So, I didn't DC. Good. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm glad to know that your internet is cooperating for once. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I like the online, but I always have the feeling that I will run into a hacker and Undertale I would love to watch. I kind of just breeze through it, so I'm hoping to play it through it more in depth. Nice! Toby Fox thought if more people worked on the project, it would end up taking longer, so it was made mostly by him. Yeah! Yeah, I think that's what it was, actually. Octo Chris. Why do I feel like I know this name? Octo Chris. Is Octo Chris in the chat? Alright. I'm gonna change the, um... I'm gonna change the stage to just random. So that we don't have to keep playing Starfish main stage over and over. I gotta go hello and <laughs> good see you later, Phil. I'm never gonna get tired of that. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. I, I use earbuds. They have mic. Nice. Nice, nice. Hey, when your room said joinable, it did a ding. Oh, snap. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're back. Um, let's put... I don't know. Man. I'm just gonna go, like, chronologically and cycle everyone out. So, whoever's been here longer, I'll put into spectator. So, I'll start off with... This name that I can't read. <laughs> Alright, cool. Animal Crossing is coming to Nintendo Switch, and I am so excited about that! Are you excited about that, Super Peach? I am super duper excited. I have so many thoughts about Animal Crossing coming to Switch that I'm probably going to do my own video uh, talking about that, but um, in short, I'm just super duper excited. I'm glad that that's a thing. I really wish that they could have shown more, to be honest, but... I guess they did the same thing for Metroid and people still freaked out about that, so whatever. Isabel turns a new leaf. I love that. I didn't catch it in the moment, but I'm super... I, I love that they incorporated that into her uh, Smash introduction. Turns a new leaf? Animal Crossing new leaf? Eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? That is so funny. <laughs> hey, sorry I'm late. It's all good, Wonder Boy. Welcome to the stream. Also, Chris the Woomy Woomy. Welcome to the stream as well. 
Hope you guys are all having a good Friday evening or just hanging out and playing some of the new Splatoon 2 version 4.0 updates. It's great. I love it. The new weapons are gorgeous. And I'm really excited for the new clothing. Um, I don't think those are in the shops yet, but I'm excited for when they are. Or when they will be, that is. I did my best to color coordinate with the clothes that I do have. Lots of black and white going on. But yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. Hope you're having a good evening. Isabel, best girl, I hope she's in the Switch game. She definitely should be. I know she was like an introduction in the New Leaf roster, but I mean, come on. Some of the characters in those games have been around for 17-ish years. So I feel like it's only, it only makes sense that when they introduce a new character that they carry them over into the, uh, into the games that follow. Ah, <sighs> but I don't know if like her leaving the town as mayor in that Smash trailer was like a hint at her not being in the new game. Maybe the new game's gonna have a different, like, mayor, quote-unquote, but I don't know. I don't know. Boo, did I scare you? No, you did not, thankfully. I can only take so many scares throughout the entirety of a live stream. I can only take so many scares in one night. We should play horror games, actually. That just reminded me. We should play horror games, but generally those, like, they're either really good or really bad, so I'd have to find a really good one. Resident Evil 7, I would love to play that for the Switch, but they did, like, the stupid cloud version approach, so it's basically unplayable. Um, but I would love to play that. Resident Evil 7 is probably the best horror game that I've played to recent memory. Bum, 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 bum. All right. I love the pink color. Me too. Me too. It looks a lot like, um... Uh, like, mm, I don't know. I mean, never mind. I was gonna say like the Hubba Bubba colors, like the chewing gum, but I think the Hubba Bubba colors are like a little bit more pastel pink, whereas this is more of like a neon pink. I definitely love the neon pink colors though. I love them. Yikes! What is this like bubble wand? Is that like, I don't feel like it does a lot of damage. Or at the very least, it's easy to dodge. Breaking news, people get confused between Nintendo Switch and a light switch that says Nintendo on it. <laughs> Yo, if Isabella's mayor in the new game's town, I'd be thrilled. She'd do a great job. I mean, I know, like, the whole thing is that whenever you start a new game, like, the, um, the whole premise is that you're gonna be the new town's mayor and you're gonna be the one that's gonna be, like, that's gonna make the town, uh, cool and, like, attract more, uh, townsfolk. But I would love to see Isabel in the new game. She's like your co-mayor, I think, is technically what her position is. But A Hat in Time is coming to Nintendo Switch. I would. That's a game. Yes, that's a thing. I forgot about that. I'm really hyped to play that. I hope that with the Nintendo Switch version that they include the uh, two-player co-op because I am definitely going to be streaming that game. That looks so awesome and so fun, and I actually didn't get to play it whenever it was first released, but I am definitely doing it whenever it uh, comes over to Nintendo Switch. I'm so excited. The mayor thing was introduced in New Leaf. Oh, man, I guess we'll... Historically speaking, I guess there's now really a way that we could reliably tell whether or not she's going to be in the new one, but... I mean, like, with every new game of Animal Crossing, pretty much everyone from prior games come back. Pretty much everyone. So... GG's, GG's to you as well, Chris. GG's to you as well. I think I got a friend request as well, so let me go ahead and accept those uh, for the people that are sending the This is This is like its own horror game, to be honest. All of these stream notifications. Oh my god, thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Spoops in Pika's honor. Thank you for that, Pika. Wow. Super duper thank you for that one. You just love scaring me, don't you? You need to spoop him during a horror game. Oh boy, that will be the day. <laughs> that will be the day. What are the points in spectator mode? I don't know. I don't, um... <laughs> I'm still trying to calm down after being scared. Um, I don't do spectator mode too often, so I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to. Thanks, Nicole. By the way, you don't have to waste your money, Nicole. Alec and jump scares. Oh, boy. My sister thinks anything good sucks. Rip. Rip. 
Two-player PC. No! Well, I, I hope they find a way to bring it to the Switch version because that game is so cute and I've heard that it's like really similar to Mario Odyssey, which I loved. And I think that's reason enough for me to be excited to play some, uh, some Hat in Time. Mm -mm -mm. Super excited for that one. All right. Top five favorite games. Number one, Fortnite. Number two, Yokai Watch Blasters 3. Or wait, no, Yokai what? Yokai. Wait, no, what is that? I'm so used to seeing YKW, meaning Yokai Watch. Y YWB3. How can I call myself an epic gamer if I don't know what YWB means? Splatoon 2, uh, 4 Mario Party, or number 4 is Mario 5 Star Fox. So like Mario as a whole? That's a lot of games. <laughs> and they're all your favorites. <laughs> Alec, what's your favorite candy? My favorite candy is probably, um, oh boy, I have to think about that one. Probably like Starburst, if I had to pick one. I would normally say uh, Sour Skittles, but those hurt your mouth after a while. <laughs> so probably Starburst. Those I could eat for ages. Twizzlers are good as well. Um, I know not a lot of people share the same opinion on Twizzlers, but I really like them. Um, Starburst and Twizzlers, I think, would be my favorite candies. And Blow Pops, like the lollipops with the uh, gum in the inside. Those are good too. Oh my gosh, this weapon does so much damage! What does this wand do? Is it for splatting, like, turf? Is it for getting splats on other players? It doesn't really seem ideal for either. I don't know. Oh yeah, Hat in Time was very similar to Mario 64. Mario 64! I love it! Mario 64 is great. Maybe we should play that for a retro stream also. I might need to go play some comps. Sounds good, Nicole. Sounds good. Let me know how it goes. I'll probably be on later as well, so feel free to join me. Whenever that happens, if you're awake, that is. <laughs> oh boy. Mods and or not ah! Mods are not in a hat in time. Nintendo Switch. I mean, I would love to play that game. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a release date for a hat in time on the Switch, so hopefully we end up getting that sooner rather than later. Unless they revealed it and I'm just silly. But I don't think there is a release date for that on the Switch yet. I think they said, like, later this year or something. So we know it's coming relatively soon, I think. But... Oh my god, please! Please! Ah, get me out of here! I'm in so much danger! Who's following me?! Of course. Of course. The bad manners on this one. <laughs> Also, I decided to go back to blue hair. Nice, sounds good. I think that'd be cool to dye my hair. All right. Oh, please! All of you, get out! Oh, there's a new Splatfest. I saw that. Someone like data mined the new Splatfest that's coming soon. It's like modern versus retro style or something. Like when talking about clothing. Oh, Evie, the disrespect. Oh my goodness. I need help. I'm bad at this game. Yo, same. You should have me on Eevee's team to balance out the teams. I'm so bad! Same. Same. I don't... I'm like... I feel like when I play it on stream, I'm just so much worse. <laughs> Retro style versus modern. That's what I thought. That's what I thought it was. Honestly, I don't know what side I'm going to pick for that one. I'll probably just do whatever Marina says. Because Marina... I'll just bl follow her blindly. <laughs> I don't really have, like, strong feelings for either side in that one, I don't think. Oh boy, when is Splatfest? Let me see. When is that, actually? I know that, like, is it... It's in, like, a couple days, right? Or, like, no, sorry, not a couple days, a couple weeks? There's no date for Hat in Time release. Ugh, big sad. I wish there was, because I really want to play that. Alright, um, I'll spectate, sounds good, Pika. I think we actually... Oh yeah, we have an odd number of players, so... Before we get started, and just to give everyone else time to join if they do so want to, um, let me go ahead and bring up our webcam, and let's talk for a minute. So, uh, when is the American Splatfest, or what is it? I don't know. I think it's the retro versus modern style um, Splatfest, so I don't know. I'm going to play Kirby Star Allies. Sounds good, Super Peach. Have a good one. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. So, um, we have... 
surpassed the hour mark on tonight's stream, which means that I have to give a huge shout out to our friends over at Nintendo of America, Pika knows what's up, uh, for sending us this copy of the game for review, gameplay, and streaming purposes. Huge thanks to Nintendo of America. We love them. We love them super duper much. Is that a, is that a word? Is that grammatically correct? Probably not. Anyways, we love you, Nintendo of America. Thank you so much. Now, let's go ahead and get this lobby reconfigured. Um, all right, so how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, perfect. The perfect number of players. Looks good. Well, totally random teams. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Every time that Eevee's on the other team, I just, I just know what's going to happen. <laughs> Let's go back to our Kensa Splat Duelies. Also, these are the new weapons. Super excited about it. Um, welcome to the stream, Ritz. Also, I, I totally didn't say that whenever I was reading your comment, but thank you so much for tuning in. I love your icon. I love your, uh, that's like an Octoling with, I don't know what to call that kind of hat, but I love it. Anything Octolings, I'm a big fan of. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wonder if the area in the 4.0 trailer is going to be in the game. I think it would look amazing. I think they confirmed that that's going to be a new map or something um, that's dropping like later this year. I don't know what the map's called, but they showed like a screenshot of the map, I think. Also, can we talk about that Splatoon 2 4.0 trailer? That trailer was so incredibly anime, it blows my mind. That was like such an anime opening of a trailer. I loved it. <laughs> That's the last map ever. That's what I thought. Cause like, I know they said they were, they were gonna be street, like they were gonna be supporting Splatoon 2 for like only a little bit while longer. I remember they said something like that back at E3, and uh, that only leads me to believe that's probably going to be the last map. Unfortunately, my favorite map from Splatoon 1 will never see the light of day in Splatoon 2, and I can't remember what it was called, but it was that one map that's in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and it's got like two trees on it, and the map is very symmetrical. I love that map. I loved playing it so much in Splatoon 1, and I was kind of hoping they would bring it back for Splatoon 2 at some point, but sadly, it doesn't look to be the case. Big sad. I'm gonna cry about it, but it's okay. We, we'll, we'll, we'll prosper. We'll live long and prosper on. This map, I also really like. It's so open, and there are so many different routes that you can take. I love really open maps, to be honest. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, other Nicole... Nicole Morgan! Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good Friday evening. We're just hanging out and playing some of the new Splatoon 2 um, version 4.0 updates, which includes the Kensa collection of weapons and the new redesign for Starfish main stage, which we were playing a lot of earlier. Um, but now we're just kind of doing random maps because I, I can only take so much of one map. <laughs> but it's really cool. Uh, the new Starfish main stage feels a little bit more open than it did before, um, which is awesome. And the new weapons look amazing. I love them. I love the new aesthetic of the Kensa collection, honestly. That's why I used it in the thumbnail, because the marketing that they're using for it is so good. It's so clean. Alright. Whoa! Whoa! I'm gonna die! I'm too- ah! Okay, I was just in a corner there. <laughs> I want the song from the 4.0 update. It's funny that you say that, because I was actually jamming out to that song before this stream started. It's so good. It's like- an anime opening rock song. <laughs> so good. Oh boy. I'm glad someone else out there appreciates the Splatoon 2 soundtrack because it's way good. All the Octo expansion songs are actually really good too. Splatoon 2 just has a great soundtrack. If we're being honest. Oh my god. I just got drop shotted like crazy. Splatoon 2 is my favorite anime. I would watch a Splatoon anime in a heartbeat. I would watch so many hours of that. You have no idea. Who is this? Get out of my territory! Oh boy, of course. Of course! There are so many of you! All you blue inklings! Alright. Let's do our best to gain some ground here. Eevee's on the other team, so I don't know how feasible that is, but I guess we'll give it all the old college try. Urchin Underpass! That's the one! Thank you, Pika! Yes, that was my favorite map in Splatoon 1, and probably my favorite map, like, out of the entirety of the Splatoon games. I loved Urchin Underpass. It was so good. I'm sad that they didn't get it to Splatoon 2. I wonder why that is, to be honest. I wonder what the reasoning for that would be. 
Oh, come on, I was about to explode. Help beat the Octo expansion? You were the, asking the wrong person for that, because I was barely able to beat it when we streamed it, like, a couple months ago, I think, is when we did that. I was barely able to beat it then, so... <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Why? We were so close. We were so close. Walleye Warehouse? Walleye Warehouse is a good one too, but that one's actually in Splatoon 2. But as for why, um, it has a lot of verticality to it. I also liked the two ramps on either side of the map that allowed you to like jump from side to side. I thought that was cool too. Um, I don't know. I just missed that map to be honest. Urchin Underpass is probably the best Splatoon map ever created. If we're being honest, if we're being real, that's just my opinion though. People are probably going to disagree with me. <laughs> oh boy. I don't mind the expansion. I don't I didn't think it was too tough. I had a I had a bit of trouble like towards the end um towards the end of that campaign. Like some of the earlier levels were all right, but like towards the end of that campaign is when it really started to ramp up the difficulty a little bit, especially during the like the last like seven levels on that last like huge map like i don't know how to describe it there was like one portion of that campaign that was what <laughs> 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 oh do you guys live to kill me <laughs> who was that uh <laughs> oh jesus okay um Alex shall fear me. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm living in fear now. The stream is just the scariest thing. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Oh. I'm dead. I am officially dead. <gasps> oh. Hey, use this money to buy blasters. Maybe you should. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, thank you, Tara. I appreciate it. I thought you were going to bed! <laughs> what happened to that? Oh, God. Splatfest time, and all those kids whose parents won't pay for the online service won't be able to play! Oh, that's a good point! This upcoming Splatfest is probably going to be the first one that is going to use the, like, paid online service thing. Are you guys going to be paying for the paid online service? I know, like, for a lot of us, we don't really have a choice because we love these games so much, but... I'm... I have mixed feelings about it. For one, I'm excited for it because cloud saving is finally coming to the Switch, but there are, like, so many other things that make me, like, not quite as excited as I could be about it. Like, cloud saves not being supported by every title, only NES games are being added to that library of free-to-play games, and, like, a bunch of other things that just, like, really don't exactly sell it for me and i know it's only twenty dollars but nintendo switch has online free right now and it just doesn't seem like they're adding enough for me to like justify ordinarily justify twenty dollars but i'm i'm gonna pay it anyway <laughs> so not like it really matters what my opinion is but i can see why people would be upset having to pay for it all right oh geez oh me oh my Whew. I was kind of expecting that one. Oh, whoa, what's this? It scared me so bad. <laughs> I have to go at 9.30 where Alec lives, 10.30 where I live because I have soccer. Oh, good luck. Good luck on your soccer. That's like too, too active of a sport for me to play. So that's probably, it sounds like, I think soccer is probably like one of those sports that you just have to be really physically fit for. And kudos to everyone who plays that game. Like as a sport, as it seems like it would be the hardest out of all of them in that regard. SNES plus NES so everyone can play a masterpiece, Earthbound. <laughs> Did they say that SNES games are coming as well? As far as I remember, it's just NES games, but if they... Here's the thing. For that specifically, I think it's cool that they're adding online play to some of those NES games, but the thing that would really do it for me is if they ever added, like, GameCube games and added similar features to that, or, like, Wii games. Or Nintendo 64 games, even. Just something other than NES and SNES games. Because I've played, like... I've played SNES and NES games so many different times now. 
and they've even released the NES and SNES Classic, like, relatively recently. So a lot of those games, like, I don't want to have to pay for again, and I think it would just be cool to have more Nintendo 64 and GameCube recognition, and to add online play to some of those games, like, especially Mario Party, because there's some Mario Party games on those consoles that are amazing. If you were to add online play to those, I would definitely be excited about Nintendo Switch Online, and I would also be willing to pay even more if they brought some of those games to the Nintendo Switch Online, like, service. Oh man, like, if they brought GameCube games and did the same thing they're doing to the NES games, I would pay, like, $40 a year to have that. That would be so awesome. That moment when you make enough dinner for guests to cancel your stream, but they cancel last minute. No! <laughs> Now I have all this extra food, everyone to my place, if only. If only. I'm a boy, I use Inkling Girl, why? There was Mario World on there, I think so. Well, I mean, like, I don't know if that would necessarily, like, sell me either. I don't know. I've just, I've played so many SNES and NES games in my time that it's just hard for me to get excited about them again. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have an even eight. Beautiful. Beautiful, I'm excited about this. Oh boy, I'll pay for it until Splatoon 2 is done with the Splatfest. After that, I'm not paying for it anymore. I'll just play Fortnite, which you don't need to pay for online to play. Really? Really? Fortnite is like its own separate thing? Crazy. Same team, Alec, finally? Yeah, I know. Right? Jeez. <laughs> now I don't have to live in fear for you being on the other team. Alec, my weapon. Which weapon are you? Was it the gold? Were you the gold one from like a couple of rounds ago? I can't eat anything. I can't keep it down. That's sad. Can't. That's so sad. Like, can you even like? Can you handle soup? Cause that would really just. That would be the end of me. Rip Alec if he ever got so sick that he couldn't eat anything. Oh, me too, Edie. I don't want to be left out. Rip. Pichu, get ready. Whoever Pichu is, I honestly can't remember. All right, so it's currently like, mm, we're about an hour and a half almost into tonight's stream, so we'll probably do like this round and then one more, and then we'll call it a night. Um, but yeah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, all right. That's probably, that's probably on me, honestly, for not looking at the chat. I feel like I should have an eagle eye on the chat so I can expect these things, but who was that? Nicole? Don't have to live in fear, he says, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Oh, Jesus. Now I have to just be on alert every time you're in the stream, I feel. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate you like no other. Thank you so very, very much. I thought you were gonna go play competitive, but instead you're here still still bamboozling me and still scaring me with your with your generosity. Thank you so much. Oh Jesus. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> I need to find some way to repay your generosity. I'll I'll think of something. I'll think of something. Maybe I'll just throw a bunch of bits at you one day, during one of your streams. Perhaps that's what I'll do. Oh boy, I was expecting to die there. <laughs> I'm cooking still, you're my kitchen entertainment, sounds good! Oh boy, what I would do to be in that kitchen, receiving all of that delicious food that you're describing. Alright. Alrighty. Also, um, I forgot to mention this earlier, but um, since we were talking about the song that was playing before the stream started, I had a few. I added a few new um, songs to our jukebox that play at the beginning and end of every stream. So you'll probably hear another new song uh, when the stream is over. So I'm excited about that. I have a large catalog of Nintendo music stored on my uh, on my cloud. Um, on my phone and like on my computer and stuff, so um, I'm really excited to expose you all to the amazingness that is Nintendo soundtracks, because Nintendo does like, 
Nintendo really goes the extra mile for like almost every soundtrack that they produce. And I would, I really wish that people were like recognize that a lot more. The video game soundtracks are something I'm very passionate about. And if I can change someone's mind, then that's that's at least one person. That's that's a victory for me. <laughs> oh boy. And I'm really excited for Smash Ultimate to come out because Smash Brothers games really just go like go crazy with their with their soundtracks cuz they like collaborate with all of the original composers and they'll even do like remixes and stuff of like classic um, video game songs with the original composers of those tracks. And sometimes they'll just make even like brand new songs, which is so cool. I love that. They don't really have to go that hard. They can honestly just put like the original game's sounds, like soundtrack songs. Like for instance, like with the Mario soundtracks, they could really just put the soundtrack from every Mario game that's into the Smash Brothers games, but they do like remixes and like reinterpretations, re reorchestrations of songs. It's amazing. It's amazing. I subscribe to Ackland anyway. Oh boy, Ackland is a great is a great um, streamer. She streams on Twitch. If anyone is interested in giving her a follow there, um, I actually don't have a Nightbot command set up for her, but I should. Um, but she's really fun. She's awesome. She's really nice, obviously, as you can tell. But yeah, drop her a follow if you feel so inclined. She is awesome. Mash music uh, orchestrations are always so good. They are. I love them so much. That's what the orchestration was at the beginning of the stream. That actually wasn't directly from Mario Galaxy. That was a re-orchestration and remix of Gusty Galaxy. Or no, Egg... Um, egg? Egg something. It's egg, I think it's like... Hold on, I'll have to pull it up. <laughs> egg Planet. That's what it is. Yeah. It's a, it's a re-orchestration of Egg Planet from uh, Super Mario Galaxy. So it's not just the song, but they like remixed it and re-orchestrated it for the game. And that's what I'm talking about. It's like, it's so good. I love how much work and effort Nintendo puts into their game soundtracks. Also, uh, disclaimer, this is going to be our last match for the night. So, um, does anyone have any suggestions for like what mode we want to play? Do we want to keep doing Turf War or do we want to switch it up and do a ranked ranked mode for our last game? Let me know and we'll, we'll do whatever you guys want to do. Wait, I heard my name. Did I hear my name? Yes. Yes, I did. I was talking about how awesome you are and how people should follow you on Twitch because you are so cool. Um, but yeah, good egg galaxy hide and seek. No, don't end it. I have to, unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, tower control, if that's OK. Ooh. At the suggestion of Eevee, we're going to do some tower control and we'll do it on a random map. All right. And I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. We have the perfect amount of players. Tower control on Kelp Dome. Let's make it count. Let me go ahead and switch to my splatter shot since we're doing tower control. I feel like that's going to be a better weapon here because it has a little bit of a higher damage output. Check your Twitter, Alec. I will. I will after the stream is over. Um, I'll, I'll definitely check and see. Um, they added references to earlier Mario games in that orchestration. They did. Yes. I actually totally forgot about that until I was listening to it while the stream was starting, and I was like, man, this is really cool. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait for the weapon. Wait for the weapon. Which one are you, Aaron? Wait, wait who are you in this game? <laughs> I don't see an Aaron in the lobby, so I'm totally confused. Alex, Splatfest is the 21st. 21st. That is in... That is next week. Holy crap. Okay, so next week we're going to be doing Mario Tennis. Because version 2 drops for that um, on Wednesday, if I remember correctly. And um, Friday... Oh, I don't want to, like, so the Splatfest, here's the thing about the Splatfest, is that they start so late that, like, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'll think about it, but I was planning on doing something else, like maybe um, Detective Pikachu. Like, our continuing our playthrough of Detective Pikachu or something on Friday. But, I guess we'll see. Plus, like, I don't really feel very passionate about modern versus retro style, so I'm okay with missing it if I have to. Um, good night after this, guys. I'm gonna play Fortnite after. Sounds good. Sounds good. Too cute. I would like to see more Earthbound orchestrations. There's already, like, a good, good amount, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm totally down for seeing more. 
you are right on that one. Um, they have the Pollyanna orchestration, which I've played on the stream before and is actually one of my favorite Smash Brothers songs. Uh, the Pollyanna I Believe in You song is really, really good. I think that's an reorchestration that was first introduced back in Melee, if I remember correctly. Um, but that song is really good. The on Onet? Onet? I'm a I never know how to pronounce that stage's name, but the Onet uh, song is really good. I believe that's also another reorchestration. Re Earthbound has some really good music. I'll hand it to them. I haven't played the games yet, but Earthbound has some really solid music. Some of my favorites in the Smash Brothers series belong to Earthbound. Don't be one of those YouTubers that abandons Let's Plays, Alec. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I've been thinking about it for a while, and I'm just like, man, there's so many other games! And so little time! Gah! But yeah, we're gonna, we'll probably continue Detective Thikachu next week. <laughs> like on Friday or something. I'm gonna hopefully fall asleep again tonight since I work at 8. Yikes! Yikes, hopefully, hopefully you get some good night's rest in there. That would be ideal. <laughs> like ARMS. ARMS is one of those games that like, I'm okay with playing every now and then. And I think I said that during the stream, is like, I don't know if we'll play this too often. But it was super fun, playing that game with you guys. Despite the fact that I'm like, really bad against, uh, what is his name? Springtron. Springtron is the worst. I hate him. <laughs> okay, good, because I sent you a video on Twitter. Sounds good. Oh my god, that was so instant! I saw it in the chat, and it was like right, right after the... Oh my god, I just got bamboozled, YouTube! You are so inconsistent, inconsistent with your timings on those. Oh my god, thank you. Tara, for that, if we need another, another spoot, buy Starbucks. <laughs> I'm gonna. I actually have that, um... <laughs> Jesus. I actually have that birthday cake uh, drink in my fridge, and I was gonna finish it here in a little bit. It's just, like, I forgot to order soy milk with it, so it's really, really, like... It really bothers me to drink it, but it's, like, still really tasty. So I'm drinking it in, uh in small little bursts. Oh, by Starburst! Wow, I'm a big dum-dum. My Starbucks drink that's in my freezer aside, or my fridge aside, Starbursts, I will do that. <laughs> oh my god, thank you, Tara, I appreciate it. You guys are wonderful and amazing. I don't know what I did to deserve you all. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> Jesus! Ah! Just throw my Tintin missiles on the point. Hopefully that does something. I'm so used to having my roll ability with my uh, my dualies. Man, this is weird. What is this? What is this over here? Get out of my town. Get out of my territory. I'm sorry, I can't buy Starburst because I have braces. Oh, jeez. Man, I remember when I had braces that that was just like one of my biggest... Big sad, biggest sad moments is that I couldn't have like candy or chocolate or anything, or even popcorn. I would still do popcorn every now and then, but like, I couldn't have anything chewy or like delicious or anything like that. I don't miss my braces days. Hopefully those come to an end for you soon! Jeez. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. I... I don't know. I'm at a loss for words. I feel like thank you's not enough anymore. Just because of how nice you guys are being to me. Oh, I just need to take deep breaths. <laughs> oh, this game is never gonna end. Oh, no. Probably pull a Sleeping Beauty and sleep for a hundred years after the stream, and hopefully when I wake up, I won't be sick anymore. Hopefully, Mika. Hopefully. I would love for you not to be sick anymore. Oh my god, we just had a huge comeback at the very end there. Oh. Oh my god. 64 versus 49. Still a pretty close game, but oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like I did not contribute anything that round. Oh my god, look at Vino with the X rank. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Welp. 
Um. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Jesus. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> that is probably gonna do it for me for tonight. Um. That was our last match. Uh. Of the evening. So. With all of that said, multiplayer maps and modes have been updated. Yes, but. We don't care about that right now because we're gonna switch it over to our webcam because that is gonna do it for tonight's live stream. Thank you so much everyone who tuned in and came out to hang out with me, played with me, and for all those lovely and generous donations. Nicole, Tara, you guys are awesome. I love each and every single one of you. You guys are amazing. Um, yeah, and as I said, next week we're gonna be doing the 2.0 version update for Mario Tennis Aces on Thursday. And um, probably on Friday, we're going to continue more of our playthrough of Detective Thikachu. So look forward to those coming up this next week. Oh, my God. And, uh... Oh, my God. $20? Nicole, you are crazy. You're an absolute mad lady. I was going to say madman, but you're a lady. So mad lady. You are so nice. I know. Nicole, you don't have to do this, but thank you so much. $20, oh my god. Can we, hold on. I don't, like, I don't think thank you, like, does it anymore, right? Because that's like, oh my god, give me one second here. Give me one second. Can we, can we spam a bunch, just a bunch of hearts in the chat for Nicole? How very nice. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Um... I totally just lost my train of thought. Uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Uh, oh, right. Yeah, so huge thank you to everyone that came out and tuned in live. Thank you so much for all the wonderful, generous donations. You guys are amazing, and I don't know what to do because ah, <laughs> I want to find some way to return that generosity. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. I guess it's like the most I can do for now, but I'd rather spend 20 on green content made by Alec than on fast food. Oh my god, Nicole, that is like, you made wonderful content and you need to know it, thank you. Thank you so much. Good night, everyone. I hope none of you get as sick as me. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. <laughs> Hopefully you get better soon, Mika. I will be sending positive vibes your way, positive thoughts. Hopefully that, um, hopefully that goes away soon, whatever it is that you have. Um, but yeah, Mario Tennis Aces. Uh, this coming Thursday, and um, Detective Thikachu on Friday. Super excited about those two. Um, and then sometime over the next couple days, I'll probably publish a quick thoughts video on uh, Animal Crossing coming to the Switch, because I have a lot of thoughts on that, and I need to get them out on paper first before I actually say them. So sometime, hopefully, over the next couple days, I'll get that video out to you guys so you can know my full thoughts on Animal Crossing coming to the Switch in 2019. But... That is going to do it for our stream tonight. Thank you all so much again. Love each and every single one of you at Nintendo of America. Thank you as well for sending us this copy of the game for review, gameplay, and streaming purposes. We love you, Nintendo America. All of our friends over there, you guys are awesome. And before we go, there's one thing that I need to say, and that is... Does anyone know what that is? I'm going to go ahead and say it before you can guess. That is, of course, as always... I'm Alec and stuff, and I will see you all again real soon. Bye! Bye! Have a good night, everyone. Thank you so much. Oh my god, like, you have no idea. I don't even know what to say to all of the overwhelming generosity over tonight's stream. You guys are wonderful and amazing. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I will see you all again over this next week. Hopefully that video comes out soon. And yeah. Also, enjoy the new song. I'm gonna go ahead and play it right now. Have a good night, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye!